See me walking in my purpose on purpose, trying to let these young boys know it's worth it. These demons be lurking. Traumatized by the crimes over time, but my mind keep me hungry and thirsty. My soul can't be purchased. Remember times when I was weak, you catch me crying in my sleep. Long nights, no lies and no heat. Go watch me rise to my feet without that iron or that heat. Watch how I grind to get me peace, and I shall find cause I'm gon' see. It seems it's time to say my peace. See me walking in my purpose on purpose. See me walking in my purpose on purpose. See me walking in my purpose on purpose. So today on Stool Talk, we have a very, very special guest. Uh, this player has really been um, dominating, really been doing all the hard work on the field and off the field. Great student, um, athlete. When I have seen his journey for myself since he was a young um, kid, you know, playing, um, seeing the hard work he put in, the odds he's overcoming, seeing the grind. Um, another great uh, running back out of the Central Stable. Who do we have with us today? Tyler Morgan. Yeah, what position you play in, uh, what, what's your grade? Tyler Morgan, uh, play running back, senior year, you know, got to make it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, you in uh, a line with the uh, great running backs that came out of Central. Um, where did this journey start from you, and how old were you when you first started playing? When I first started playing football, I was about six years old. It started with, like, the Little League Bulldogs, always – like, as a kid growing up, I always wanted to play ball. Always watch football. I grew attached as soon as I saw it. Once I saw that, I knew this is what I was going to do for the rest of my life. Yeah. When did you start to see your game take off, and when did you see you started to get better and you really started to excel? Once. Like, I would say, like, around, like, seven or eight years old. That's when I realized what I wanted to actually do. Like, I realized this is me. This is you no know, going back. That's when I found out I was a running back, found out what I could actually do because I, I always knew I had the talent to do it. I just had to put the work in to be able to do it. Yeah, and you always, um, you know, wasn't scared. You always, you know, was ready playing with the big boys and, you know, getting in there, even being the youngest and littlest out there. Um, what does hard work mean and how has hard work got you until the point that you are at right now? Hard work means you putting that extra effort, that extra go that 110% while everybody doing 100. You go in that extra mile while everybody else is doing less so you can be better than just good. Yeah. I always felt like since I was the smallest guy on the field, I had to put an extra. People was going 110, so I had to go 20. 120, I had to do everything I could to be one step ahead of everybody because I was already one step below. Yeah. Can you share with us a bit about your journey uh, when you first got to Central until now, even becoming a part of the team? How did that happen? Yeah. Uh, so before I came to Central, it was a coach. He wanted me, like, he was talking to me like he was a great coach, Coach Jim Riley. Coach Jim Riley, he's so appreciated at Central Catholic. I still talk to him on a daily basis now. Uh, so basically, we once I got to Central, I knew I was going to fight for a spot. I knew I was going to be fighting. Regardless, because I knew it was a, they always reproduce, they always regenerate. So I knew where I was going, I would have to fight for a spot and it would be a challenge. So I decided to still go and get there freshman year. I didn't start as a freshman, but I knew what I could do and I trusted my process. I trusted and I kept playing. Yeah. Sophomore year, I got playing time in varsity. They put me in one time, I scored history ever since. So I kept balling out last year for my junior year. Uh, it gave me a chance. I was a running back, too. Gave me the ball. Gave me the rock. Carried it for over 1,000 yards, 25 touchdowns. Got a couple, you know what I'm saying, accolades. Yeah, so what what would you say um, was a real pivotal moment or what moment stick out um, last season for you? It could be a game, a play. You know, uh, y'all got rings over there. Y'all back-to-back uh, state championships. So what was a, a big game or a big moment for you? First game. Um, I felt like Finley game, I already knew I had to make a splash because, one, it was the first game, and two, it was the first game of my, my cousin Chris, Chris Edmonds. Yeah, shout That's out Chris. He performed. And I knew I had to replicate that because I always 
felt like I was in his shadows and I ain't want to be that no more. I wanted to be right even with him. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Um, how will you take your um focus, your momentum, and your um your game next year, being that they're gonna be ready for you, being that they know that you back there? How would you, you know, use that as fuel to be better? And how would you not let it, you know, help you be complacent? Like what would you what, what you gonna do different being that you're gonna know that they're gonna be watching you? So me, I know I'm a team player. So if they think they're gonna focus on me, I got 10 other guys on the field that you can't stop. So if you depend on and focus on me, I will let my team shine, ball out, continue to win, continue to succeed, get another ring, you know. But with me, I just got to stay ready and prepared for when that time comes. If they can't stop me, they're going to have to figure out something else to stop. They're going to try their best. But it's regardless. I bleed, they bleed. We both men, men against men. When talent hits talent, anything can happen. Yeah, and, and that's and that's crazy you say this because I interviewed your teammate, Sharad Vaughn. Shout out to him. But y'all both speak a team. You know, I ask y'all individual questions, but it goes to the team. That just showed me, you know, what great team players you guys are. Um, what does having that team and having that chemistry and that brotherhood mean to you? Yeah, uh, I like that you said brotherhood. Central Catholic. At first, I thought I was going for straight football, purely football in school. But I came to Central, I found a brotherhood with the football team, a family, people I can call on when I need something, call on just to call. Uh, I feel like we built so many bonds, and the way our team develops together, nobody expected us to see the team that we have this year because we had such a rebuild. But Central will never rebuild. Central will reproduce and resize and do it all over again because we're going to get the ring regardless. Yeah, and what would you say to um some uh, middle school kids who are looking at going to Central? What does Central, you mentioned in Brotherhood, besides Brotherhood, what else does Central have to offer academic-wise, athletic-wise, and even the school atmosphere for those that don't know? So like me, I went to Central for football, expecting it to be more football, but I realized it was academics included. So I knew I had to stay in school, keep my grades up. Anybody coming up and want to go to Central, Central, we don't play about grades. Like with teachers, make sure you get your grades, get your good grades, stay focused, make sure you got it done. Because one of our coaches is literally the dean of academics. Our head coach is in the school at all times. <laughs> you better up if you want to. It's just like, it's priorities to it. It's student athlete. You can't be a student if you you can't be an athlete if you don't want to be a student. You got to work hard in class so you can play hard on Fridays. Yeah. What type of leader would you say you are? Do you lead vocally or do you lead with your play? I feel like I lead with my play, but I I should lead more vocally, but with my play and like the things I do. Yeah. What does faith mean to you? I know. Don't you got a tattoo that say faith right there? that's dope. I love that. What What does that mean to you and how has that helped you in your journey thus far? Um, Faith. I always had faith in myself. Like I always believed I could. Everybody always doubted me because, you know, I'm smaller, shorter, but I made sure on the team I'm the strongest. I'm the fastest. I got the highest IQ. I'm going to react the quickest. I'm not going to let that take me down because I have faith in myself that I can eventually make it to uh, NFL, the CFL, the XFL, make it to the league, make it through college, be somebody that I always dreamed I would be because I have faith in myself. Yeah. How do you balance it out being that you're, uh, you know, a top athlete, being that you're a teenager, being that you have family stuff, you got practice games. How do you balance it to make yourself, uh, you know, stay strong and grounded? Uh, it just priorities. You got to make sure you got your priorities and things straight. My priority was football, but I had to still be a teenager. Um, I had to still work, uh, play football, go to school, do everything a teenager needs to do. But that things you need to sacrifice to play football. So I did a lot to sacrifice to play football just to follow the dream that I want to go to college, to play ball. Yeah. 
Yeah, I love that. Perfectly said. Um, how do you feel like you have grown the three years you've been there going into year four? How have you grown? I've been more social. Central made me a social person. I was very, uh, very anti-social. But once <laughs> I got Central, they made me open up if that was the last thing I was going to do. They made me open up. Now I, I can be able to speak on this interview. I can be able to have a conversation with a coach. I could be able to connect and uh like showcase everything I can say and do, you know, I can write, I can write on a piece of paper, I can tell somebody, you know, I can, you know, I can do a lot of things now with Central. They just built me into being a better man. Wow. So that and that's definitely what it's about, not just the athlete, but being a young man, the student athlete and, you know, the game of football, getting you prepared for the game of life as well. Um, What are what are your plans Um, as far as with scholarships without with colleges and stuff? How are you taking that approach and looking and how is the recruiting process going for you? And what are some things you're looking at? Or are you kind of going to wait to the season to see? Are you getting offers now? Like how that process is playing out? So honestly, right now I'm focused on the team goals. I'm I would rather let my my own selfish goals take a little step back while I'm waiting, working with the team, making sure the team is great, making sure the team has everything they need, making sure they got my full focus, full attention. But with the college, I feel like I I, I believe I'm gonna wait wait and like wait things out and make sure I know it's the right move for me and the right move for my family. So, cause I know I, I don't mind being far from home, but I don't mind being close from home either. Yeah. So like me, it's either or for me. Yeah. And you spoke of family. What does family mean to you and how has their support and their love, um, you know, played a part into your career thus far? It means the world to me. Like, just like I brought up Chris, Chris, if it wasn't for Chris, I wouldn't be at Central. Like he made me, he molded me into a better person, a better me. He made me want to keep grinding and keep playing football. Cause now I get to watch him yeah. in an actual video game. I get to go play with his character. <laughs> like it's yeah. like all the things we dreamed of is actually falling in line because we stuck together and we kept the family bond and we just worked. And we kept grinding. Cause all the people that doubted us, but the people that stayed with us and worked with us and watched us thrive and grow, they still here because that's family. That's love. Yeah. What would you say to um the kids that's in the, uh, like the mid cities, the little, the younger youth leagues around the city? What would you tell them? Something you wish somebody would have told you or wish you would have known back then? Choose the right crowd. If you hang, if you hang with stink, you're going to stink as well. I like that. <laughs> if you hang with something that smell good, you're not gonna stink. Yeah. So you you around people that's doing wrong, it's just gonna make you think you can do wrong, but it's consequences to everything you do. Yeah. What um players you look up to, or who do you pattern your game or running style after? Number one, Chris Evans. Number yeah. two, Blake Corn. Three, Saquon Barkley. I can see, I can see you and all them the people that you named too. Just your build, your running style, and everything. You, your number seven. Yes, sir. What made you pick number seven? Is that what makes that number significant? It was kind of weird. Like, it's kind of, it didn't have mean to happen like this, but it kind of worked out. So it was like I wanted two because as a kid, I grew up, I wore two. That was the number. But like when I realized it wasn't available, I grabbed seven. I wanted seven, and I took seven. But, like, as I went, I started thinking about it. I'm like, hey, I could go, like, 28. I was 28 my sophomore year. Chris yeah. graduated. He was 21. I said 21 minus 28. That's seven. Yeah, I rocked yeah. seven. Rocked yeah. seven to, like, to the wheels fall off. Yeah, I like that. What What are you doing pregame to get you into your mood, to get you going? Are you listening to music? If so, what type of music are you listening to? Or how are you getting yourself prepared? First thing I do, I pray. I pray, I thank God for, you know what I'm saying, letting me be able to prepare for that game, being able to make it to that game. And then I, I do listen to music. I probably I probably listen to, like, some soothing music. And then close to the game, I probably listen to, like, some rap, some yeah. rock, rock wave, some little baby. 
Yeah. What what does it take to get you going or what do you need? Do you need that handoff, that first contact to get you ready, or are you just ready from jump? Man, I don't know. It's like as soon as I get on the field, the environment. Yeah. It's like because going to Central, our fan base is magnificent. Like it's amazing. And the way they come out and they support every time, every Friday, every time we need them, they come out. As soon as I hear that and feel that, that support and that family and that the noise, it just brings me to another person. Yeah. What is uh Tyler looking to get after a big game to eat? What is your meal or what is the place that you trying to get something to eat after a big win? I either got to go to Chipotle or mom's got to make some salmon and rice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Whatever comes to your heart, speak something positive to the youth that may be watching. Yeah, stay positive and keep grinding. Like it might seem hard, but the harder it is, because God gave us challenges to the toughest soldiers. So if you're a soldier, you tough. God made you that way. You, it ain't a mistake that God got you out here doing this, running hard, training hard, grinding hard. He wants you to be doing this because if you was in another path, it would be a different story. It would be a different direction. But God chose you. So just keep grinding. Keep doing it. Follow your dreams, man. Yeah. And uh, what would you want your legacy to be, your name to be, as far as in the Central um, program when they look at Tyler Morgan running back for Central? What do you want your mark to be? The most accomplished. Yeah. Uh, Football-wise, outside of football, education uh i want to be able to give back i wanted to i want to be able to build a whole nother central like i want to be that god that comes back to shares the community and you know help the community with everything it needs yeah and um and even with that, like, you guys are doing things that a lot of kids dream to do. You're playing after the Mid-City games. You're playing in your backyard. You're talking about going and playing the States, and y'all been down there. Take us through that moment. Uh, it could be your first year or even last year. How did it feel in that championship game? And was the first one sweeter as the second one? Was the second one sweeter? Like, how did that feel? So I'm going to go over both of them. So the first one, it was just, like, surreal. Like, I didn't believe it. Like, it was just like I was there, and I couldn't imagine me being there. Uh, I was glad that I got to see the field that game as well. Um, I was just I was just so in shock. I couldn't even react after the game. Like, I didn't react until, like, a week later. So we had our little parade. Like, it was just, like, something in me. It didn't, it didn't hit yet. But the second one, I felt like I was more worried. I was more in my head. So I came out and I did what I needed to do to ice the game, win the game, keep going. And then once we won, that's when it felt, I felt it like, I literally felt all the enjoyment and the excitement in my head, like my adrenaline rushing and everything. Like I just felt it all. It was just perfect timing for a perfect moment. Yeah. And how would y'all um prepare next year being that y'all the defending champions and y'all trying to three peat and y'all trying to get back down there? What will be y'all focus? We gotta go harder than last year. We gotta be a better team every year. Every year. I don't care if the team was full of all Americans. Our whole D our whole offensive line was D one. They all gone. We gotta we still gotta play football regardless to what. We still gotta be able to produce. We still got the expectation so high. Because that's what we need. We yeah. need that expectation so high so we can complete and retrieve the three peak, do it again, and keep winning and keep winning and keep winning for history. Yeah. What has Coach Dempsey meant to you and what have you learned to you? Man, Coach Dempsey, he took me a long way. Me and Coach Dempsey always, we always like saw football in a high level. Like football is a high priority for me. And that's how he sees it. So me and Coach Dempsey always was able to speak on like a higher level of football, like always could understand what coaches are saying because I feel like I got a coach's perspective. Because when I've been playing football for so long, like I understand so much about this game and the sport. So like I understand it so much and Coach Dempsey ain't been nothing but a role model, a good leader, somebody that I could look up to, like somebody that if I needed advice, he I could be able to call him. Like, yeah. Yeah. 
And who besides you and Sherrard, like who are the other like head upperclassmen captains that's going to, um, you know, leadership is going to be very needed for y'all challenge and what y'all got ahead for y'all? We got a couple senior captains. I'm going to say the seniors. Uh, I expect Don Spinazzi. Don Spinazzi is a big talent. He played last year. He played. He started and he ended up playing defense in the playoffs. Uh, I would say Kevin Arnold. Starting safety is a hell of an athlete. Um, my little brother, J.B. Morgan, uh, he's a great athlete. Lavelle Stokes, it's a lot of guys that can step up to that plate. Uh, Kemar Walker, Curtis Strode, uh, D'Angelo Lyons. It's a lot of guys that could actually step up to that plate. We just got to get the guys to be able to do it because we all been through it all, been through so much. We've been here for three years. We ready. We we always been ready. Yeah, and uh, Victor Sing Singleton, what grade is he going to be in next year? Junior. Junior, so y'all got him on the defensive side too, yeah. yeah. Um. So, yeah, y'all y'all got something to work with, and, and y'all all seem like y'all all got the same common goal from me interviewing Sherrod, from me interviewing D'Angelo, to me interviewing you now, seeing that y'all all is focused on the main thing, y'all allowing the main yeah. thing to be the main thing, and that's what's going to, you know, get y'all to where y'all need to be, so – yeah, man, we thank you for coming on here. We're spotlighting you for being a great student athlete, for, you know, being able to be focused, being determined to be successful and knowing that you are more than just an athlete, but a student athlete. May God continue to bless you. May he give you all the skills and all the things that you need. May he give you favor on the field, in the classroom with the coaches when it comes to recruitment and the colleges that you're going. May he be able to align you up with the right one that fits you, that fits what, you know, he got for you, man, and just keep up the work. Proud of you, man. Continue to be that leader. We're going to be sharing you, posting you, and, and rooting you on. Randy, thank you. Yep, yep.